In a world plagued by subtle biblical undertones, one white guy that is currently in Hollywood's spotlight will play a working class everyman with a mundane job that has no justification for how ripped he is. He is the only one that the military slash police slash super spy organization will turn to when a calamity of never before seen, at least today, proportions will threaten everyone. There will be a wise mentor type who dies later in the movie, with some inspirational quote he gave to the protagonist earlier. There will be the smart scientist lady who is coincidentally a supermodel, and a bad guy that is played by an actor that is too good for this movie, who is killed by the heroes using an extremely heavy-handed Chekhov's gun. Chekhov! And in the end, there will be mathematically impossible action scenes that stretch the limits of logic rather than have a scene that feels like it has legitimate danger in it. Starring a white bald guy, a black friend character, a nerdy IT guy, the blonde woman, the good actor, and some combination of these tropes in one character for the illusion of uniqueness. Mission Furious, Fast and Impossible. Well, that looks like sh I'm not gonna lie, action movies are quite the mixed bag for me. I have no idea what to make of them. I love a good action movie, but those rarely exist. There are more honest YouTubers than good action movies. So many different movies have the same formula to me, and that can be quite annoying. They all seem to have some secret biblical message or reference in them, like a character with a cross necklace or having a nun for a mother. Hell, there are scenes where a person asks God for guidance, and 15 minutes later they're murdering people. I guess they didn't realize that the Bible got an update. There are so many dumb cliches that making a mock trailer for an action movie is one of the tropes itself, much like how horror movies making fun of the cliches has become a cliché. Gee, I should probably leave this gun and bulletproof vest behind in case it'll slow me down. That exit sign is probably a trick, so I'm going to go into the shadowy darkness. Gee, I sure hope no axe murderers are behind me. <laughs> action movie trailers being crazy is so common that some legitimate action movies look like they're fake. Like the movie SWAT Under Siege. The trailer's editing is well done, but the style makes it look so much like a f***ing indie show about making fun of action movie stereotypes. On the note of action movie trailers, am I the only one who notices that they only use the most famous song from last year? I know it takes a while to make a movie, but I still think it's weird that they seem to pick the trailer music before filming, rather than afterwards. Whenever I watch a movie trailer, it's like I get whiplash from nostalgia of a song I haven't heard last year. <laughs> Alright guys, why don't we pick a big new song for the trailer? You know, appeal to the youths. We're amazing at that. I'm thinking that new song, Gangnam Style. Uh, sir, that song's from 2012. What? but Internet Explorer says that it was just uploaded. Oh guys, check it out. There's a new app called Vine. The sci-fi movies are always the ones that fascinate me the most because of how they predict technology. Some have teleportation, some have light speed, and some have insanely ridiculous outfits that they think look cool. Some sci-fi movies completely disregard the potential of showing cool and realistic technology in favor of dramatic and intense. While this would typically be cool, it just creates its own cultures around a franchise that gets people infuriated whenever something happens outside of that bubble. Take Star Wars, for instance. It has such a deep, massively unrealistic lore that if any other company adds an equally unrealistic piece to the pile, people go ballistic. Sci-fi is far more dangerous for companies and creators because they are just unrealistic enough to be interesting, since no one likes the real world, 
but they're just realistic enough for people to be picky about what can be added in, without realizing that the whole thing is just fantasy with metal and lasers thrown on. Hey, how dare you completely upend the science of a nondescript telekinetic force that space monks with glow sticks use, you evil corporate mouse? It unnerves me to no end the investment people put into action movies, as if they're constitutional rights. I understand people getting upset if a, if a film sucks or has a change that doesn't make sense. That always sucks when you let down or a film is stupid, but you gotta suck it up. You're allowed to dislike something without attacking the creator or the workers. Every franchise has a bad installment. Get over it. It's actually a good thing. Because when we see what it looks like bad, we are better able to appreciate it when it's good. You really want to not be angry? Don't watch things that you know for a fact will set you off. So please... To anyone out there that is in any way furious about an honestly minor change or an insignificant contradiction, please save your anger for the problems of the real world and not that of a franchise.